care team for gastrointestinal stromal tumors encom encompass a lot of, of or many different uh, providers. So you have typically first is a surgeon um, that will help with determining when or if the tumor should be resected. Then you have the medical oncologist that can help will help determine if any pills or systemic treatments uh, are indicated. Um, we include the pathologist who will look at the tumor and ensure that it actually is a GIST tumor and then any additional characteristics that help guide us in those treatment decisions. Um, the radiologist is an important piece as well and looking at the imaging to help both with initial diagnostics as well as, a, as to help with surveillance down, down the road. The nurse is an important member of the team as well. Um, they can help with the management of side effects of medications, trouble after surgery. They tend to actually be um, the most contact that you will have, um, and they're typically very knowledgeable to be able to help you out with most, with most um, issues. The social workers are a huge part in the care, especially with it being a rare tumor. Patients often express an isolated feeling, um, and a lot of the treatment recommendations are not cut and dry, so there's a lot of personal decisions that go into your treatment decisions. So having a social worker to help you with those isolated feelings that come with cancer alone, let alone having a, a, a rare tumor, and then just to help you talk out some of those um, personal decisions that you, have, that you have to make. Is it up to you as a, as a patient to ask for this? Oftentimes, we try to have you meet everyone initially, so the social worker, the nurse, um, everyone on the team, um, but you oftentimes will have to reach out just to say, I want to access these services. It's very helpful because some patients do get offended at times about, especially when they hear the word social worker or patient support. So initially we try to let you know what your resources are, but it's good to, to make that initial step of contact. Most patients with GIST um, are often diagnosed in the community and then either are referred to a specialty center or by research of their own come to a specialty center. So a specialty center is a place that really specializes in the type of cancer that you have. When you come to a specialty center, those providers have um, much more experience and deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis to be able to look at not just the literature to make those decisions, but be able to base it on previous experience with patients and networking with other providers, specialty providers around the country. So there is an advantage to coming to a specialty center a lot for the numbers. They deal with it just on a more common basis and I definitely see an advantage to that. Oftentimes, especially centers too, they're all housed together. So the surgeon, the radiation doctor, the chemotherapy doctor, they're all in the same office and talk to each other on a regular basis, which can really help smooth uh, the transition between all of your treatments.